Well, I think I'm sitting with an answer to prayer. Shelley Calcagno is our Director of Family Ministries here at Crossroads. Still pretty new. How long? Uh, since December. So just December. a couple months. Yeah. Yes. And listen, we didn't um, dress to match, but isn't it cool we are? <laughs> and not only that, we're both wearing our children around our necks, thanks to Julie Johnson, yes. photographer, <laughs> and two children, Shelley. Yes. And how old are they? Uh, my son Noah is 15 and my daughter Hannah is 12. And so. busy as we are keeping you, there, there's the whole crew, yes. and your husband. Yes, my husband, Tav. And boy, can he sing. I know <laughs> that from a Christmas children's production. Yes. Uh, I was going to say, as busy as we are keeping you, um, you are enjoying actually spending Sundays with your whole family. And we I just am. celebrate <laughs> that with you. Yes, thanks. It's been good after almost 20 years of church ministry. Um, to be involved now in, in our local church and just still living out our hearts for families there. So, so much experience of bringing meaningful truth and uh, life building activity to children and families mm -hmm. and we are gleaning the fruit of that. Uh, let's start with the show and tell on the okay. table. You know okay. I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher, don't you? <laughs> oh really? I didn't yeah, know yeah. that. <laughs> so this is like, I'm in this. Okay. Well this month we're focusing on prayer here at Crossroads and on Huntley Street. So um, I thought it would be great to have just a few things to show families that they could do um, just to raise prayer in their homes because I think prayer is something that has to be taught and disciplined in your family. So here's a few things that you can do. Um, the first thing that I have here is a prayer journal. And this is something that families can do together. Um, you can take time maybe once a week and just write down your prayer requests that you have as a family. And then the next week you go and you write down your answers. The, yeah, write down your answers, write down your new requests. And it's just a good way um, to bring everyone together. And it's also really neat to look back and see how God has just moved in your family and how he's answered prayer. So, I love how you decorate yes. all rows Actually, my daughter, Yeah, my daughter decorated Happy this for family. me. <laughs> and, and why yes. not? Everybody can be involved in yes. that as well. So that's one idea. Another idea that I have, and I brought a couple samples here. Um, sometimes our lives get really busy and we run from one thing to the other. So these are just a few prayer boards that I put together. And so um, at the beginning of a week, you can decide as a family, these are some things that we want to pray about this week in our home. And you can just kind of put them up on the board. If you don't have a fancy board like this, you can put them up on your fridge. And it just kind of keeps in your mind the things that you want to pray about. So, you know, when you're running out the door in the morning, you can see one of these prayer requests, and it'll just remind you to pray for different things. So. Very cool. I'm sure these have been around forever, and you know, I miss a few things going by on horseback. <laughs> but that is great because there's no pins, so yes. even the littlest yep. kids can. Yeah, and they can decorate them. They can think of things too involved. that they want to pray for, so Dangerous. it makes them feel like they're part of it. And this is a uh, really cute one as well. Just a little prayer jar. And uh, what you can do, it's really hard sometimes just to get the family to sit down and settle for a formal time of devotions or prayer. But if you have a little jar and you can put different prayer requests in, and especially if you have younger children, they can, they like picking something. So my cousins. So, you know, today we're going to pray for our cousins, that sort of idea. So you can keep doing that during the week. And it's something that, you know, at supper time, kids can run and pick out a little prayer request to pray for. Fantastic. And another thing I've found too, <clears throat> we might as well use our technology. Uh, my children are a little bit older now, so we've created, um, and they kind of rolled their eyes at me a bit when we did this, but we have a group family chat, like a text that we do. So during the day, um, and not every day, but once in a while, I'll just send a text and it goes to the whole family and I'll say, I'm praying for you today, or I've told them if something comes up during the day and um, you need a pray something to pray about, just text us and the whole family will pray. So it kind of makes So there's use. a point of connection every yes, day yes. for all members of the family. Yes. And I also found this um, app, it's called Faith at Home, and this is a prayer app and it's really easy to use. It's a free download and you just uh, hit the little praying hands and it comes up with all different um, places that you can be where you can pray. So you just hit it and you shake your phone a little <laughs> and then it'll bring up a prayer prompter for you to wow. use with your family. So just another way that you can uh, pray at different Shake times. and pray. Shake and pray, <laughs> yes. Oh. So yeah, so these are just a few ideas um, that just can help children get involved and get excited about praying. Simple, use what you have at home, yes. inexpensive, yes. connecting. You know, the last statistic I heard, Shelley, was that children are spending more time in front of a screen mm -hmm. of some sort than they are sleeping. <laughs> and parents are spending on average 10 minutes a day with their children. Yes. We need help to bring these points of connection yes. to slow us down 
to get us looking face to face and opening up about our lives. Yeah. So important. Yes. Yes, there's a book that I love. It's called Playing for Keeps. It's by Reggie Joyner and Kristen Ivey. And it just talks about time and um, what you're saying, time being such a valuable resource um, that the, the biggest, the greatest gift we can give our children is our time. Mm. It and never so, changes. No, They never. spell love, T-I-M-E. Yes, yes. Now, I don't know where you get the time, but uh, <laughs> uh, somewhere where, even while you were looking after hundreds of Sunday school children every <laughs> week, you wrote the book that you have just seen promoted on the screen, Teenies Tangles. Yes. This is so fun, based yes. on your daughter's Real life adventures with hair brushing. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> which have gotten a little better, but still, you know, hair drama is something that hair drama. There's right there at the beginning. <laughs> Throughout Dedica our lives, <laughs> dedicated to Tav, Noah, and Hannah, especially Hannah and her rickety, rackety hair brushing drama. Yes, <laughs> lots of moms will relate to that. Yes, I, I want to mention too that. Uh, uh, one of the God Rocks has done the illustrations. Yes. They are so fun. Thank I never, you. okay, there's attitude. There's a page I'm moving to <laughs> right there. Just try to come near me with that brush. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, I think this is at our e-store. It is at our e-store. Oh, yummy. Yes, fun. and also in the e-store, there's some great um, books on prayer for families and children. So you can check those out there as well. Now, yes. even before you came on board with us full time, you were contributing blogs mm -hmm. and some great ideas, crafts and family connecting things uh, to Crossroads360.com, our website. And we want to show some examples of okay. what's there today. <laughs> yes. Take, take us there. Kids Space. Now, Rock Kids TV, um, I think we're pretty familiar with that, Shelley. Yes. And there's lots of great content there for families to watch. Ooh, look at the crafts on the side there. Lots of videos. I, I just saw that going by. Yes. Um, those are crafts you can make with your family. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Here's some of the color and fun. Yes. And uh, we're excited about our our involvement with God Rocks and all the the great resources they provide families. So many of these songs, scripture in song. <laughs> in styles that might be vaguely familiar to those of us of another generation. Yes. Just so much fun. Yes. Uh, we have more. Oh ho, okay. <laughs> um, I think I saw you recording these. Yes, these are some do-it-yourself um, ideas that we've done for families. So you can go to Crossroads 360. Uh, these are some Valentine, or this was actually a time capsule that we did. So you could actually go and look at that today because it's family day and you could do that today if you wanted. Um, but there's lots of great resources, activities you can do, but also in Crossroads 360, um, there's just great resources for parents and families. You just type in the search bar of parenting or anything that you're going through and there's lots of things there that can help you. Now, have you done a time capsule with <coughs> your family? Well, I haven't, but the one that we were working on, we're going to do that this family day. So. so what do you put in it? You just uh, collect mementos. Um, you can pick uh, your favorite, just things that have represented that year for you. Uh, we have a little questionnaire, like our favorite show of this year, our favorite Bible verse, our favorite food. Um, we put in our favorite candy, maybe a brochure from our favorite restaurant, a uh, newspaper clipping from that day. And so you put all these things in, some family photos, and then you decide when you're gonna open it, and then you put it away, and then you decide in a few years, open it and just read all your memories. So something fun to do. You know what? I just remembered in the house where my family spent 25 years in Peterborough, I hope the owners aren't watching, <laughs> they took the pillars down from the front of the house to paint them. It's quite a job because you've mm -hmm. got to support that upper deck, right? And uh, we decided to put something inside the pillar before it went back up, newly painted. Is You'd have to there? tear the house down <laughs> to get at that thing. So where do you recommend putting your family treasures and mementos? Um, like where should you hide them? Exactly. I don't know. You want to find yours again. Well, I do, but I don't want You don't it want to... another generation to find No, it. but I don't want it to, I don't want to see it every year because I don't want to open it. So maybe you, you put it in a box somewhere like that's not so permanent in your house. Something you know that if you do move move or go somewhere that it'll you go don't have with to you. come home right yeah. <laughs> okay wow this has been very stirring <laughs> you can go make one today it's family day yeah but what am i going to do about that pillar <laughs> shelly thank you for Thanks, all you're Sarah. doing 
and it's just such an important part, always has been an important part of Crossroads Ministry, um, encouraging, strengthening, supporting families. And uh, hey, now you know a little bit of what you might be missing if you haven't gone to Crossroads360.com. And remember that Teeny's Tangles, just so cute, is available at our e-store. You're going to have to keep visiting. I would love to. Shelly, at least seasonally, okay. right? Yeah, there's lots of fun ideas that we can share to help families. So Good I'm looking stuff. forward to that. Happy Family Day. Thank you. You too, Moira.